Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday, it's Friday so it's weigh-in day, workshop topic, discussion day, and of course I'll share with you guys how my week was. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not as I would love, love, love to have you here, click the bell so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group are also down in that description box. So let's jump into how my week was, the WW workshop topic, and of course this week's weigh-in. <laughs> Friday. I hope you had an absolutely amazing week. I had a really good week. I was a little bit under the weather on Sunday. I just didn't feel very good. My stomach wasn't feeling the best and that passed rather quickly. By Monday, I was feeling back to normal. So overall, I had a great week. I've been doing really well tracking my food, eating the right foods, drinking my water. I actually got a gallon of water in every single day this last week, which was again, one of my 2022 goals. I also went ahead and joined my local Snap Fitness. I talked about this in last week's weigh-in that I was thinking about joining a regular gym so that I could go walk on the treadmill. So I bit the bullet and joined this week so that I can go an extra two or three, maybe four days a week and walk a little bit on the treadmill in addition to jazzercise. So I'm proud of myself for taking the plunge and joining the gym and really just upping my overall activity. So I'm proud of my week and I feel like overall I had a pretty darn stellar week. Before I jump into this week's weigh-in, let's chat a little bit about this week's WW workshop topic, which is extremely relevant for pretty much everyone. And that is how to plan for unexpected tasty temptations. Did someone bring a high point dessert or appetizer to your dinner party and you're having a hard time resisting that. Maybe you didn't plan for it. Maybe you don't have the points or calories for it. Get in the driver's seat and take control so that you don't overindulge. There are some very simple things that you can do when tasty temptations happen. Number one is to check in on your budget. Whether your budget contains points, calories, or both, do a little bit of a check-in and see where you're at. Maybe you have enough dailies or even weeklies for a portion of that sweet treat. Or maybe you could use your rollover points. Better yet, what if you amped up a lot of your other meals throughout the day with zero point vegetables so that you can add some extra daily points to your budget? Number two is watch for any red flags. Look for any alarm bells. Envision how you'll feel one hour after eating that dessert. Are you going to feel happy and satisfied and thankful that you ate the dessert or are you going to feel tired and sluggish and full if you eat the dessert? If you picture yourself with any regrets or bad feelings overall, that's your red flag that's your alarm bell to maybe skip it. Number three is to create a plan. Plan to fail, fail to plan. One of my all time favorite sayings because it rings absolutely true. If that little siren went off or the red flags were thrown up everywhere, then make sure that you distance yourself from that dessert. Make sure that you sit in a spot that you can't see the dessert or you're choosing foods that aren't directly impacted in a visual distance of that food. Do something else and come back in five to 10 minutes to see if you still really want that. Once you have some distance, you can really logically decide what you want to do. And number four is to make your move. Do you still want to eat that dessert after you've had some distance, after you've checked your tracker to see what you have available, and after you've really envisioned how you're going to feel after eating it? That's how you'll know whether or not you should have that sweet treat or that dessert. At least you can be proud of yourself that you made a conscious choice. Let's be real. You cannot anticipate and plan for every single food that's going to come across your plate, come into your space, or be brought to any type of dinner party or event. But you can anticipate how you're going to react. You can really take a good look at these four steps and make sure that you're consciously choosing to eat that thing, that dessert, and that you're not going to feel regret or shame or disappointed in yourself afterwards. And honestly, we should never ever really have feelings of shame or regret. It's only food. It's not something to be regretful or shameful over. But think about how that food is going to make you feel and really decide consciously, is it worth it? So I really like this topic because this 
happens in pretty much everyone's regular life. It could even happen day to day for you where foods are brought in or things are introduced that could be a temptation for you. And you really have to think about whether or not you want to indulge in these foods. And there's nothing wrong with it. Just plan it, track it, and move on. Don't beat yourself up. Give yourself some grace. And if you choose to indulge in the dessert, enjoy every single bite. Such a great workshop topic. So extremely relevant and important. So I'm really happy to talk with you guys a little bit about this today. So let's go ahead and jump in to this week's weigh-in. I am about to start my cycle. It should be happening here in the next few days. That may be why I didn't feel the best on Sunday. And that often leads to extra cravings for me, which I haven't noticed a whole lot this last week, but I was happy when I stepped on the scale that I lost weight. Eight. Now I have lost over a pound. One week I lost two pounds for the last few weeks. So it's kind of inevitable that that will slow down a little bit, but 0.8 is 0.2 away from a pound. So pretty much it's a pound loss. It puts me closer and closer to my 90 pound goal in my closet clean out. So that makes me super, super excited. So 0.8 down for the week and I couldn't be happier. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? What do you think of this week's topic and how do you plan on implementing this into your life? It is definitely something that's going to happen multiple times along our health journey. And of course, just let me know overall how you guys are doing. I love hearing from you in the comments. Don't don't forget if you enjoyed today's weigh-in and you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because of course I'd love to have you here and don't forget to ring your bell so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and don't forget to come on over, join us on Facebook. Thank you guys again for watching. Happy Friday, happy start to the weekend and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye!